Just the euphemism for the B-word, as Meg begs all to remind of her issue with the difficult label in vain. The Duchess of Sussex continued to air her opinions on the labels given woman in the final episode of a Spotify podcast archetypes. Meghan Markle has released the final episode of a successful Spotify podcast, Archetypes. As the Duchess of Sussex has produced 12 episodes since August and has tackled important issues with the help of her friends, experts and celebrities. In the latest episode of the 41-year-old had sat down with a male guest to discuss how they can contribute to the collective effort to go beyond the stereotype and the labels that she had turned to her comedian Trevor Noah talk show host of the TV producer Andy Cohen and director, producer and screenwriter Jude Apatow for an open conversation about how they can play an impactful part in the cultural conversation, mainly through their roles in the media. During a conversation with Andy Cohen, Megan had brought up a label that has plagued her over the years. I was doing an episode purely about the B-word, the Duchess explained. Most of the women that I spoke to had very little issues with the word because it was so oversaturated that it is almost diffused. She continued, and instead, they were saying that the charge for them is how easily women are now being called difficult. And that is really just a euphemism for the same thing, but it has more of a dig to it. Duchess Difficult was a nickname given to the royal, soon after her wedding to Prince Harry, as it came amid swirling rumors that the latest addition to the royal family as incredibly demanding of the palace staff. Several aides had reportedly departed due to the Duchess's challenging behaviors. Although the accounts of some former staff has been contested by both Meghan and Harry. As Meghan has previously spoken about the dislike for the term, she also revealed a hatred for the word bitch, telling some of her previous podcast guests that she has a visceral reaction whenever she hears it and refusing to use it throughout her long hours episode. Andy, who acts as the executive producer on the Real Housewife franchise, said the use of the word bitch was banned on the show, saying that we had a weird relationship with the B-word on the housewives, and that there was a housewife that had wanted to use it in a tagline. Finally, the woman who ran Bravo had said, we don't want the B-word in the show, this is negative. And I think it was ultimately wound up happening that the woman had used it, the B-word, in the same way that we empower the word queer in the queer eye of Bravo. Queer used to be a bit of a weaponized word. I think the case that was made by the woman, the housewives, was like, no, this is a positive to me. Megan had admitted that recognizing the word and the use of some of these charged words as a positive was a part of the discovery through the entire podcast. It comes after a previous criticism, F, the positive reclamation of the word. In the episode dedicated to the breaking down of the B word, Megan had spoke to creator and writer Robin Thede author Alison Yarrow and zoologist Lucy Cook. Ahead of a conversation with Miss Yarrow, the Duchess had said, we've been exploring what it means for the woman to ask what they need, to stand in their power, and also the kinds of labels like difficult and pushy, or the B-word, that often following along from the behavior. I've made it known that I have a deep dislike for these labels, especially the last one. Megan goes on to introduce Miss Yarrow to the podcast, and the pair delve into a deep discussion about the etymology of the word. The author had said, Etymologists believe that the word bitch comes out of this Greek insult that means woman with dogs in heat, begging for men, and that was the idea. Modern definition was written down in the 1890s, and it was bitch that was an appellation, and that was the worst name that you could call an English woman. <laughs> 